We uh, thought we'd take a minute <clears throat> to talk a bit about suction hose strainers. And uh, we're getting ready to do uh, some performance tests on various suction hose strainers, uh, barrels, low levels, floating, uh, some basket strainers. And that's going to happen at the end of September. But uh, we thought we'd give a little uh, sneak preview of our discussion about strainers. So short of the red one in the back, <clears throat> you're basically looking at barrel strainers that'll fit six inch hard sleeve. None of them are the same. We can only suspect that they will each have their own individual flow capability. What that flow capability is, we really don't know. We do know in most all instances though, that the barrel strainer is one of the top performing strainers uh, when drafting with your pumper. <clears throat> a lot of variances here, right? We can see we have a short squat one. We have a nice tall one, a couple more tall ones. That one there comes from a 59 Seagrave pumper. Uh, this one here is uh, about a 1960s era uh, American La France strainer from American La France pumper. Uh, some of these are new, some of these are old. Uh, don't believe any are homemade. Some have big holes. If we look here, right, it's a big hole. We can put our whole finger in that. So is this one big hole, small holes, small holes. So clearly the, uh, the holes make a difference. The arrangement of the holes have to make a difference. We know that based upon just how water moves in and out of the opening. So all this kind of stuff uh, we'll take a look at when we do our performance testing here in September. Uh, late September the 30th is the uh, designated date right now. So this is just a, uh, a good overview, right, of looking at strainers. A lot of times people buy a barrel strainer based upon what will fit in a compartment or they buy it from somebody else not having used it in their pump test. Uh, a general good rule to follow is that the barrel strainer that came with your pumper, right, part of the NFPA minimum uh, equipment stuff, the barrel strainer that came with that pumper from the factory should be able to produce uh, your rated capacity test when you do your acceptance test for your pumper. If it doesn't, then you need to sort out that whole matter, uh, double check the pump certificate, see what was used. Uh, in terms of a strainer and suction hose and lift and all that stuff. But <clears throat> the strainer clearly is important and we suspect that each one of these will have a different flow and uh, we'll be able to report on that in just a few weeks.